I told my boyfriend's daughter to stop calling me mom and her reaction finally broke me. Everyone in my life thinks I'm a total beach for what I'm doing but I don't see how my feelings are the only ones that are invalid here. I've been dating my new boyfriend Mike for about a year now. I don't date very easily and I'm only with Mike because he meets my pretty high standards. He has a great job. He's extremely handsome and he respects my time and my privacy. His only red flag is the fact that he has an 8-year-old daughter from a previous relationship. He and his ex were only together for a couple of months in their early 20s and she passed away from addiction a few years back. He's even told me that he'd never expected to be a father although he loves his daughter with all his heart. Mike had waited to introduce me to his daughter Cassie but I honestly was in no rush. I'm not really a kid's person and I never have wanted kids of my own. There's a huge part of me that feels like I should have just cut off the relationship with Mike as soon as he told me about Cassie but, I illogical, and I already had feelings for him. Now I feel sort of stuck. I'm fully in love with him but when I think about us long term I know I'll have to share a life with Cassie. I just don't know if that would be good for anyone involved. Like I said, I'm not really a kid's person. Anyway, Mike finally introduced me to Cassie a month after we celebrated our one year. She's a nice kid I guess, just a little girl who likes slime and stickers. She wanted to talk to me about her favorite YouTubers and I had no idea what to say. I felt so awkward. But when I looked at my key I saw this sweet smile on his face and I knew it was making him happy to see us together. But it's also complicated. I don't know if I belong in this weird family. I'm not even close with my own family, and I have never been. Anyway since Cassie and I have met I've been around her pretty regularly. I feel hyper aware of how I act around her since I have no idea how to relate to a kid. Sometimes I sit with her and watch her favorite YouTube videos, and I painted her nails with clear polish before. She seems comfortable around me but I think it might have gone a little too far. The other day at Mike's apartment Cassie called me mom. I froze and I had no idea how to handle it. All I knew is that wasn't right and that it wasn't clear with Mike and I wasn't ready for any of this. Before I could stop myself I told Cassie that I wasn't her mom. She just gave me this sad little look that I never want to see again for as long as I live. Then she was quiet for the rest of the day. I feel like I broke her heart today I could literally see it all over her face, but I'm not her mom, I'm nobody's mom. Who am I to be somebody's mom? People tore me up in the comments of my very first post and I honestly agree with every single one of them. In my first post, I talked about how I told my boyfriend's daughter not to call me mom after she had lost hers to addiction before she was 6 years old. Reading all the comments on my last post really made me reflect on my behavior towards Cassie and I realized that I had been giving her mixed signals the entire time that I knew her. Some of the kind people underneath my post pointed out how kids really value quality time and just watching YouTube with Cassie probably meant the world to her. I never thought about it like that and I always felt like I wasn't doing enough for her. I realize now that it's all because of my own issues, even when I would sit with Cassie and show her my favorite Disney princess movies and watch her face light up I still felt disconnected from her. I started going to a therapist after seeing the response my post got and she helped me understand that I have abandonment issues caused by my own mom. My mom was extremely neglectful to the degree that I only learned to brush my teeth when I was almost 10 years old and that I would often go hungry because she simply wouldn't cook. My therapist pointed out that trauma from my childhood probably prevented me from being able to psychologically allow myself to care and love for Cassie because of how my own mom neglected me. My therapist also pointed out that it was up to me to break the cycle and that didn't matter that Cassie wasn't blood she still loved me with the innocence of a child. I'm not someone who cries easily and I can't explain what a release it was to cry in my therapist's office after maybe a year and a half without crying. I thought of myself as a kid and how I would eat flour sometimes from the cabinet when there was nothing else and my mom hadn't cooked in days. I realized that I truly cared about Cassie too and I would do anything to give her the opposite of the childhood I had. I loved her father with all my heart and it would be easy for me to spread that love to her. After my third therapy session, I asked Mike if Cassie and I could have a girl's night. Mike is so excited he even sent me a video of him telling Cassie about it and she literally was spinning around in little circles after getting the news. I have chosen a bunch more animated princess movies to show her, we're going to bake her favorite type of cookie together, and I got all the ingredients for the mermaid slime she's been talking about for a week.